an imaginary drama created expressly for this broadcast. Welcome. I have become aware that some of you are not yet in class. Fine, fail to comply. a mouth-watering traditional street food, has been tantalizing taste buds in West Africa for decades. With its distinct African spin, Suya stands out from other similar dishes like shish kebabs. In this video, we explore the background and cultural significance of Suya, as well as its preparation and variations. Chapter 1 Suya originates from the northern region of Nigeria, specifically in Hausalan, and has spread throughout West Africa. The Hausa, Tuareg, and Berber tribes share a similar culinary culture that heavily features meat. In these cultures, meat is marinated for several hours in a peanut paste or ground to toil infused spice blend before being grilled to perfection. Soya is often enjoyed with jollof rice and plantains, creating a flavorful and satisfying meal. Suya is traditionally served with a side of Hausa Masa, fermented rice or corn cakes. Chapter 2 From the Kitchen on Kitchen Radio Come on Kitchen! Essence of suya lies in the hands of the my suya. Aboki, this your suya is fresh, oh. The suya sellers who expertly slice and grill the meat on open grills, skillfully blinking away the smoke from their eyes. Guys, can you see this suya? Oh my goodness! Oh, this suya looks really, really pretty. While Suya has gained popularity as a street food favorite in Nigeria for decades, it has yet to translate into mainstream restaurant dining fully. Ever wonder what it feels like? This is fantastic. Tastes so good. Really like what it tastes like. Yes. It is our destiny. It has become so beloved that some have even suggested that Suya should be placed alongside the horses on the Nigerian coat of arms. Don't let them steal your horses. End of chapter two. Chapter three.
although the concept of skewered and grilled meat may seem simple, the true magic of suya lies in its marinade, known as yaji. The marinade consists of secret spices, including the traditional house of the hydrated peanut cookie called kula kula. Your marinade vary according to personal and regional preferences. There is no standard recipe for composing this complex mixture of flavors. However, traditional house spices, dried pepper, and sliced onions are often served alongside suya to enhance its taste. can be found across West Africa, particularly in Nigeria, Cameroon, and Niger Republic. I'm representing Nigeria, Ghana. Nigeria makes the best suya. <laughs> While different regions may claim the superiority of their suya recipes and preparation methods, similar grilled meat dishes can be found in various West African countries. We make it for people who don't know suya. It's a little bit on the salty, very salty side. It is bland. It's kind of hard to chew. I'm very disappointed. There's nothing suya about this plate. What is this, like lettuce? There is no onion on this. That spice is not here. I wouldn't give this to my nieces and nephews. I don't know what this is. I taste a lot of fat in this one. A little dry though, too. Mm. No, but like salt doesn't give to your vibe at all. It just wasn't good enough. This is so wrong. <laughs> Typically, suyu is prepared in the evening or at night, making it a perfect meal for tired commuters or hungry individuals. I'm hungry. <laughs> So where do you live? Kitchen. If you want to try making suya at home, you'll need to get your hands on some yarchi pepper. Soak the grill sticks for a few hours to avoid burning. Then least slice your choice of meat, skewer it, and marinate it in a combination of spices, including yarchi. Then, Roast the skewers over a grill and serve with onions and tomatoes for an authentic suya experience. I have <clears throat> got carried away. Carried away! Carried away! Do they not have food where you come from? I got a little carried away. While suya is the most popular variation of this dish, Traditional Hausa cooking offers other versions such as bulangu and kilishi. Bulangu is another type of spiced meat, while kilishi is a dried version of suya. Each region and individual may have their own unique twist on suya, with variations in the spice blend and additives used in the marinade. Uh -huh. oh, that's my favorite! <laughs> what happened next? Has become a unifying dish in Nigeria, transcending regional differences. 
It is an affordable and widely available dish enjoyed by people from all walks of life. Suya's popularity has inspired the creation of Suya-themed events and festivals, celebrating this iconic West African dish. Suya has become so popular that it is now available across Nigeria and has even entered Nigerian restaurants worldwide. Overseas don't want chop me like Suya. Suya has become more than just a delicious dish. It now symbolizes Nigerian identity. It has permeated Nigerian society, becoming a national dish that represents unity and cultural diversity. Despite its humble street food origins, Suya has gained recognition and appreciation worldwide. Suya the beloved West African street food has a rich history and cultural significance throughout Nigeria and beyond. Its distinct flavors, secret marinade recipes, and regional variations make it a unique and cherished dish. Whether enjoyed from a street vendor or prepared at home, Suya is a true delight that brings people together and showcases the vibrant culinary traditions of West Africa. That's my speech. Please click the subscribe button if you enjoy this video and are curious about Nigerian art, culture, people and market. Thank you.